こそせつなここが私の工房だよ At the, entrance of the, at the entrance to the tunnel, there's a small branching path. At the end of it lies Dine's workshop. I say workshop, but it's more modest than that. It looks like the corner of a cheap, random junk and dolls scattered everywhere. But this is where we'll save the world. Dine runs around the narrow workshop, showing me, showing me around each area. She's just like a child showing off her secret hideout. Honestly, I have no words. Saving the world, it's one thing to say, but it's much harder to actually do. People who make that commitment take the first step. It's often destined to remain a wishy washy dream forever. But this kid, in this place, yeah, it's amazing. Trying to turn her dreams into reality. <laughs> All alone, hold up in a spot like this with no one to really rely on but herself. <laughs> but constantly believing in this one single thing. Are you? Yeah, right. Dine. A young girl who existed on this earth long ago, who believed in herself to the very end. Selfish, capricious princess, clung fast to her ideas and was tough for others to handle. But then there's this Dine, those who's inherited her name. Wait, excuse me, did you regain your memories at the moment? Excuse me? The object that Rin. Dinne fully Dinne really gleefully brings to me. It's an ordinary black digital a wristwatch? <laughs> Following her I spot a familiar object sitting there. Nope, this is a massage chair, no matter how you look at it. Although actually judging by the modifications that have been made to it, this might be more than just an old massage chair. So you've got the controller and this is the cockpit. What do they operate? As if. Well, saving the world always comes down to robots in the end. But I don't think I'm fit to lead some mecha show. I'm too old for that. Enough with this... with the transforming already. Can I really leave things up to her? The way we'll know it is once it's complete. How much longer until it's finished? It looks like it's almost done though. Is she making a plastic model or something? I'm pushed down by Dinne to the chair or cockpit. She's sticking some kind of electrode to the back of my hand. Uh, hey, is is this okay? <laughs> I don't really get what's going on here, but I have a bad feeling about this. Dinne operates the watch on her wrist. Hey, did something move just now? What's this? My calves are being squeezed and rollers pushing against the small of my back. This... this feels great. Like it's the very salvation of my soul. Wait, this is... this isn't... isn't this just a massage chair? Oh, 
とりあえず最大値の5時間半おえへいじゃあ改めてスタート DNA's watch emits a short beep That's the last sound I hear Something rushes up my spine A chill or an electric current What the It's so cold So eerily silent Is this a dream or reality? Something seeping out from the electrode stuck to the back of my hand. It's black, sticky substance, almost tar like. It shimmers like metal in the light. Hey, Dinne, what is this? It's crawling up my arm, consuming my body. Wait, wait, stop, stop! Maybe Dinne can't hear me. Steady fingers still placed on that watch. Actually, Dinne's finger isn't the only. Her hair, her clothes, everything is frozen, still. Dinette! Can you hear me? Dinette! I can't reach out to her, no matter how far I stretch. My voice won't reach her. She's right there, but I can't reach her. This is exactly the same. This is exactly the same as what happened that day. <coughs> Even now, the black substance continues to swallow me up. Seeps into the gas between my clothes and skin, my arms to my shoulders, and then up to my neck. <coughs> it covers my nose, my mouth, my eyes, my ears. At this rate, I'm going to drown. Drown? That's right. That day I just kept on swimming, pushing through the thick, tar like water. Unable to open my eyes. To hear it. Able even to breathe. That moment, I was being dragged to the bottom of the ocean. I'd reached the end of the rope. What's this? Where's this voice coming from? Kick the water. Hard deep in this heavy, night black tar kicking up towards the place of light. I kick the water. Hard in this worst possible future and turning back toward the crossroads I faced that day. I kick the water. So that it might hold her so that I might hold her hand once more. That I might call out her name once more. <gasps> I surface. There, the ocean at night. Calm ocean, neither mind nor waves. In front of me sits a single boat, someone standing inside it. Her face is in shadow, so I can't quite see. <laughs> I can't speak. I can't for the life of me aim. No. How could I forget it? There's no way. <laughs> Wait, this is wrong. I'm probably just getting confused. Stop that. I came here to fulfill the promise I made that day. I came here to see you again. So stop that already. Water sprays up. Huh? I can still feel the sensation of her soft hair brushing against the tip of my nose. <laughs> I reach out for her. My fingertips touch the palm of her hand. <laughs> I kick the water. I touch her clothes. Again, I kick the water. I grab her wrist. Pull her close. Wrap my arms around her. Hold her in my tight embrace. Never to let go. It's her. I'll never mistake her again. Dinne! <laughs> Huh? The tiny figure in my arms is wriggling, flailing about. I let go of her. In an instant, an instant, the heat of her body dissipates from my chest. It lingers on in the palms of my hands, though. Being quite warm. What? What was that just now? 
ちょっと装置が止まらなくなっちゃって。The system? I fling away from. I fling away as the weird substance that's stuck on the back of my hand. Looking around, I notice there are several cables that are tied to the chin and have come loose. They're giving off sparks. I, I think I had a dream. Something about those worlds make me comfortable. What was. Was that really a dream just now? いつもはすぐ電力不足で止まっちゃうんだけどうん配線いじったからかな電池を新しいのに変えたからかなディネスクリスクランチングアップフェイスアシンスペクセットうんそれともセツナだから Yes, it was I, Setsuna! Because I've already experienced this before. That's how I came here, Dine. My heart skips a beat. Could this be what I'm here for? Is this the reason the two of us have been brought together here? Dine. Dine. I reach out my hand. Just as I did before. Dine. I kill out her name. The name I wasn't able to say before. Nani? Ah! Suddenly feeling my hands on her shoulders, Dine goes wide eyed with shock. Those eyes of hers are so pure, so innocent, and unaware of the way of the world. Of the meaning of her actions. Okay, listen up. There's someone I need to save. I still don't remember who that person is. I don't. No, I still don't remember who that person is. I don't need to. I'll be led to them their way. I need to save them, no matter what. Saying it out loud won't achieve anything. After all, this girl doesn't know any more than I do. But still. She just smiles seemingly without a care in the world. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Jeez, she's incredible. Yeah, we'll definitely complete it. And I'll definitely save them this time. Well, I'm passing by anyway. I might as well save the world. I'm passing by anyways. I might as well save the world too while I'm at it. Still, what kind of hero saves the world in a massage chair? <laughs> Enough of that already. She's mad at me now. I... I get it. I do. Just quit with the Airanda thing. No way. <laughs> That's so cute. Now we've got a theme tune... Now we've got a theme tune too? Why are you just bursting into song? Wait a second, that's a bit risk. Risque. She's not even listening to me. However, staring at Dine does bring a smile to my face. Her back turned to me. She's humming her improvised tune as she tidies up. Maybe she's been bursting to tell her secret to someone else the whole time. Waiting and waiting for someone with the same dream to arrive. Suddenly, the words I heard Mind. It seems too good to be true. I've had enough dreams for one day in any case. But what if? What if hope really can travel across time? Transcend it. <laughs> I told you enough of that already! Could it really happen? Okay, I've got an early start tomorrow, so I'd better get to. Huh? What are you doing, Dinette? 
I catch sight of Ne Dinne burrowing under blanket she's laid on the floor. She's fluttering her feet on the bed. She is obviously totally engrossed in something or other. The thing she just swept under the pillow. Was that the side mirror from yesterday? Your face is the same as it was yesterday, isn't it? You still sound like a kid to me, though. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> With a pout, Dinne timidly goes into the mirror. Oh, it is a car mirror. Why is she slang like that? But why is she throwing such a loaded question at me? S sooner or later, you'll be drop dead gorgeous, I'm sure. Why are you in such a hurry? Her cheeks red. Her cheeks redden. Then, then she glances up at me. For Don't tell me you're. Oh. You've got a point. You are saving the world after all. <laughs> They'd never write stuff that crude. Wait, I'm super handsome? Oh, I suppose? I wonder about that. These stories tend to be embellished a lot. <laughs> I forgot, she admires that Dinne. Everlasting love. Oh. But hey. From what she's saying about her poor face, it's too early for her to know anything about love and stuff like that. And it's not like I know anything about it either. If your name really does go down in history, I'm sure all they'll say is that Dinne chan is super duper kai or something like that. Super duper cute or something like that. Dinne doesn't smile at my lighthearted remark. She simply mutters a few words, her face still scrunched up. What do you mean? You believe it, right? That you'll save the world? The girl stares at her childish face in the mirror and sighs. She will. I can't tell her that without any evidence to base it on. People find some to admire, and it's then by following steps that they become adults. But no matter how far they go, they're still themselves. At some point in time, they have to discover that. Themselves and not anyone else. And if they don't discover it, then, well. You're Lolly, Inne. Not the Rinne, not the Dinne from the story, but a mini version of her. Lolly, Dinne. I figured. Uh, don't sweat the small stuff, just do what you can right now, okay? Alright, mm, so relentless positivity, that's one of your consistent traits. Worlds away from a chump like me, constantly pessimistic, always losing sight of myself. Smile, Dinne. Be the light that guides me. 
I have to say, I'm really not sure about that song. <laughs> Sounds like our backstories are being fleshed out more and more. I wake up the sensation of a blanket being pulled away from me. Or accurate to say that something or someone is stopping me from trying to fall asleep. The smell of oil still lingers in the air, so I can't be more than a second since the lab was put out. Hey, what are you doing diving under the covers? Oh, <laughs> You thought you'd get away with it? Hey, don't say weird stuff like that. It's really not something to joke about in this situation like this. Um, doesn't she get it? I'm just saying you'd regret it if I were to try something. She has a way, way too much trust in me. Huh? I'm not sure about her reasoning. So, you know what it means to make a move. Only kids dive under people's covers. <laughs> Think she wants me to let her be a kid just for tonight? Jeez, if I keep refusing, it'll make me look like the self-conscious one. Okay, just for tonight. And it doesn't look like I'm getting any sleep tonight, eh? We're not swapping gossip at a slumber party here. It, it's not exactly that I'm in love with her. Now, I'm at it too. How can you explain it? Ah, I hate that asshole brother of hers. I haven't forgotten everything. Even if her presence has disappeared from my memory, it's still etched in my heart. She still resides there, and now. She saved me. Little by little, turn that vague presence into words. I was a blank slate and she gave me a place to belong. A reason for being. At first, I only wanted to repay her. That's all. But we kept butting heads right through to the end. She lied to me. I lied to her. Her final day, she confessed the truth. But I wasn't able to fix my lie. I hurt her. I broke her. Recov irrevocably. Irrevocably. That's why I want to save her. I'm surprised myself at all these vague half memories that keep tumbling out. But they are all that I have. A lingering wish to save a girl whose name and face I've forgotten. That's what defines who I am. It's stupid, right? To come all the way to a place like this. Just for that. Dinner sort of nuzzles my chest and touches my neck. Does that mean me? Even that I am, everything that I am, all the failures and missteps that make up my life? Huh? I don't know much about the island, but I've met all kinds of people here over the past couple of days. There's the girl concerned for the future, reigns over the high stratum, adult forbidden from looking up at the sky, desperately tolling for the daily substance, children driven away to a rubbish heap, forced into a life of Precariousness. Precariousness? Precariousness and uncertainty. Society is a system and systems deteriorate and eventually crumble. 
All that the people living in the system can do is carry on acting out the roles they've been assigned. If that's true, then the ones who are actually in position to save the world, it's those who generally can wish for it to be saved, those who stand outside the system. Hey, Dine. Why is it that you love this world? Nervan called it one heap of dung. Cuttins lost all hope. Even Sarah, who claims she wants to save the island, despises the system which controls it. Dine belongs to that same system, so why does she. So what? Those are all just part of normal life, right? But I'm different. Wherever I go, I'm a wanderer, an outsider, the black sheep. Meaning, we're not normal? You don't belong to the system? Uh, yeah. What? But your. These callers, they're the next most important thing to people after their lives. Mother obviously wished with all her might that her child might be given a normal life. So you made it in time? Dine silently takes my hand and puts it on her. I feel metal beneath my heart to the touch. So it's a gift from this world. To her, it's a treasure like no other. That's why she loves this world more than anyone else, and... That's why she sees its faults more than anyone else. Sarah told me people press people press the church for new callers. There were riots. I very much doubt that I very much doubt they just conceded. They were all parents wanting happiness for their own children after. Dinne's nails dig into my hand. Wasn't the church just using the Kali issue as an excuse to murder people? It must have been tough every time someone died, bearing the weight of that collar on her neck. It's a gift from this world, at the same time, it's a shackle that has her bound her since birth. If I were in her shoes, I'd probably be able to capable of laying out facts so calmly. If I were in her shoes, I wouldn't be able to accept the truth. I could. I highly doubt I could say that I love this world. Liberation? The Holy Land, huh? So, Yokiu 
聖地を探すことにしたでも誰も帰ってこなかった一年経っても二年経ってもね、so、either they finally reached the holy land or... 結局この世界は何も変わらなかったただ But... was... that was the answer sure. 結局この世界は何も変わらなかった、oh, so have to, like, 結局この世界は何も変わらなかったただ戦いが終わっただけ Avalon was simply a fantastic fantasy dreamt up by the people who had been driven into a corner. They fought each other, killed each other. That fantasy. I see, so there are plenty of reasons why this shitty world, plenty of reasons for disappointment. Still. She's not giving up. Yeah, of course. Like hell, we're going to give up. Like hell, we're going to fall down halfway. She wraps her arms tight around my back. I suppose. And why are you bringing that up all of a sudden? I see. So that's what she means. You certainly can't raise children here. We need children to carry on our wishes. Like this kid, entrusted by her ancestors with technology that might save the world. Oh no, not that again. But it's true. The only ones who are capable of loving this shitty world. Then let's fight. Let's fight for love. Or something like that, I guess. チャンピオンオフルーツディンネピンク何それひどい<笑> It's better than being a lover of curry カレーは美味しいもん Then you be yeller うーんセツナのバカカビ Back then we were still just two ragged people chattering pointlessly while stuffed under a raggedy old blanket But the hopes we expressed back then They have the power to change the world someday. That's what I wish for, all my heart. You do too, don't you? Inne. Inne. Never Island. Takahistic Records. Ashistic Records. Compendium Monium. All that exists in the world. Like a cross between historical account and prophecy. Past, the present, and the future. Said that every event in history occurred in accordance with archaistic records. The first time I heard of it, I thought it was a ludicrous concept. People's day to day lives, the motions of the stars, even the creations of the deaths of the universes? Universe? Every little detail is written down somewhere. No, that's, that's possible. No way that's possible. It would be, have to be simply unfathomable amount of data. Who would even read it? God flicked through its pages, goffling to himself like he's reading a manga? No way that's possible. But the older I've become, the more I've started to entertain the possibilities of its existence. Life is surprisingly routine. Up in the morning, go to work, eat, take a dump, <laughs> take a dump, take a bath, sleep, rinse, and repeat. See? And sum it all up in one sentence. Might only take Single sheet of paper to record an entire life, for all I know. Could try dramatizing the story a bit, and still, it wouldn't exceed the length of a regular novel. Even then, you'd be able to fit, fit five people's lives on a single floppy disk. Single floppy disk, you know, those, uh, I don't think you would know. 2,000 people on one CD, 100,000 people on one DVD, 20 million one people, 20 million. One Blu ray DVD. It's, it's before the CDs. This world of ours is surprisingly tiny. It wouldn't be all that strange if God had created the Ascetic Records in his spare time just for fun. If he. 
Would that make the world nothing more than data to be processed? Just as the plot of any given movie never changes, and the staff but it's always roll after two hours, will we also reach the end of some set path when the time cross comes? That same, would the same events repeat themselves if we passed replay? Some interpretations would suggest so, others wouldn't. So alas, it's the latter that interested me more. Could be artistic records aren't just meant to be read like a CD-ROM, but are more like a rewritable CDR. And once the data has been read through to the end, the records are rewritten. Then the time, then the next time they're played through, events will work out a little differently. Or, that's right, talking reincarnation. According to this, when people die, only the soul endures and returns to artistic records. It waits there for some time, and when that period has elapsed, you appear in the life with the same soul. You don't keep your memories from the past life, of course. Your name, your face, and even your sex might change. But you'd be connected somewhere or other. Still bear the same role, the same fate that you did in your past life. Same karma. It's like a bond, tethered to your past self. Here, I'm able to find meaning to life in, life in a life of routine. For well, the first time. Here it might be possible for me achieve what I was unable to back then, to fulfill the mission I couldn't. If that happens, I'll be released from the loop. For the first time, my soul will be saved. But back to my main point. Classic Records, the symbol that un- The system that underpins everything in this world. A road to salvation for every living soul. So far, so good. The problem is what lies outside the system. If there was an entity overseeing Classic Records, I wonder what they'd think of all of it. Outside of the system, the past, present, and future are all equal value. A simple gesture lifting from the record and placing it somewhere else enables you to retrieve any past data you want at any time. It's there that it's there that those who ought to have been freed from the system would still find themselves imprisoned. Wouldn't they see the defects in the system before them? Wouldn't they turn their nose up at this little dull house of a world? Of a world? Wouldn't they consider just destroying it all, the record from the smashing it to pieces? <laughs> or maybe, mightn't they regret? Might they not regret it? Wouldn't they regret being stuck outside of the system? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop here because it's a new day. Also because, like, why not? All the way to the bottom. Dun, 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 dun. It's 10, and you got all this stuff that I did before on, like, the other routes. Like, post fight with Reen. Da da da, kissed. Dine. Page one is like when I was going through the original playthrough. It's like, oh, uh, yeah, cut in, dude. Achievement. I had to complete cut and set I root. I was wrong. Sorry. Now on to four. So, thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode, yeah? Part, whatever you want to call it. Because it's like 2am now. It's almost 2am. And we just went through all of that, so I think it's time. Oh yeah, before we get to that. We did the flowchart, this summer, cut in, sara, dinne, and now we have access to winter. It goes in a straight line for the longest time in the world. Dinne, it does the same thing. Nothing happens. This sent you here, and that sent you here, back and forth, back and forth. Okay? Touch. I never had access to this before. あの、
このダイヤルが音量でこっちのボタンが録音。The voice is a slightly different, but barely ever. 何これもう録音中え、今のなし刹那さんはもうこの島にはなれましたかスーバルウラン。頑張んなはいはい頑張んなはいはいお、おな、私は真面目にやりますよ。私、頑張るねは、The three main girls of each timeline, nice. I'm gonna have mine as Dinne from now on. Dinne. Alright. See ya. Been nice. Yes.